Hello, dear friends. I hope you're having a really, really great day as you watch this video. If it's evening, good evening. And today, <clears throat> I have a, a watcher reader request. And so this whole week is going to be about getting to the root of why some things bother us that are happening in diet culture that maybe we are moving away from. So if you're having any struggles with this, this video series is the one for you. So let's get started with answering the question. Tracy, I feel really triggered and bothered when other people are talking about their diets and I don't know what to do about it. So this was an actual question and so let's deep dig into what is going on with that. So the truth is that every th our process is just that it's a process. So if you decided today, you know, I'm done. I'm not going to diet anymore. I'm going to learn how to make peace with my body. I'm going to learn how to trust my body. I'm going to actually set a set a set about this recovery process. And inevitably, because our world is still filled with diets and people dieting, you're going to be bumping up against the things every single day that you are trying not to do. And so that's going to feel upsetting because you know, we don't just decide one day that we're done with a thing and not still have neural pathways for the thing. So for example, if you are just on XYZ diet and you've been not doing it for a day, for a week, for a month, for a year, and then maybe you go to a mom's group or you go to um, a church meeting or you go to the the work office um, lunch, lunch break area, and people are just talking about their success with XYZ diet you just stopped doing. You know, you're going to have feelings about that, and that's not abnormal. But it's about when it feels like it's taking over your day, it's making you question what you're doing, then we want to get to the root of like, what's that about? What part in us still feels like that we're doing something wrong by actually just eating from hunger and fullness. What part of us still feels like <clears throat> maybe if I just tried harder, I could make it work. What part of us feels like we're doing something wrong? So that's how you get to the root. And so let's just do one example. Let's say that you know intellectually that XYZ diet, it doesn't work. You've been on this path like of understanding, like you are able to like step outside of yourself for a second with your adult mind and say, okay, you know, I've been doing X, Y, Z, careful eating, healthy eating, watching my food, plan that I made up or somebody else's plan. I've been doing that since I was 10 or 16 or 20. And all it ever did was make me think about food more and always worry more about what I was eating, what I was doing, what was going to happen next. And yeah, maybe I did lose weight, maybe I didn't. And just because somebody else is saying they're doing really great and they're so happy, I don't know if that's all true. So we have to kind of stay in our own lane of recognizing what is it like you know that it actually ever it doesn't ha it hasn't ever made you fully happy. It may have made you smaller but it didn't fully make you feel at peace. And there's a difference between feeling relief that maybe you'll get criticized less versus feeling happy and at peace. They're not the same thing. So if what you're looking for is peace, you're not gonna find it in a diet. No matter how much your coworker in the next cubicle says that <clears throat> they're so happy. I don't know, did they actually say they're happy? Or did they just say that they lost weight and they're excited about that? Or they're proud about that? Because you and I both know that maybe maybe they're gonna be part of like that 2% or 5% that goes on XYZ diet and they don't have to stay on XYZ diet forever and they can do the diet and then go about their merry way eating normally without obsession. If they're a, a part of that teeny tiny minority, um, okay, great. But it doesn't necessarily made that may mean that that weight loss causes their bills to get paid or their relationships to be maintained or anything like that. It just means they weigh less. 
for us, it could mean, oh, I'm wanting what I'm thinking they're getting or are going to get. Maybe I want that excitement. Maybe I want that feeling of happiness that I don't have it. But if you look at, again, your experiences, like, well, when I was smaller, did I actually have it anyway? Or did I have some relief, but not true happiness? And that, I, that was exciting because it made me feel hopeful. So maybe what we're looking for is like, where can I find that hope? <clears throat> maybe that's what I'm looking for in my life. And it's maybe time to start looking at some other stuff, other ways of feeling hope and peace in our lives instead of like crossing our fingers, hoping that if I maybe try that again, that I'll be okay. And I know this is hard stuff. It's very provocative and it's very deep and it forces us to stop our constant doing and get out a sheet of paper and a pen or take a drive or um, get outside and just be with ourselves and get into some contemplation mode here of like, what am I really looking for when other people's diets trigger me into feelings? If I feel mad, if I feel sad, if I feel scared, what is that about? I have an opportunity here to learn that like maybe I feel sad that I'm being left out and I'm afraid I'm going to be left out. Okay. <clears throat> so what do you actually want to be a part of? Is it a part of diet culture and the people that just talk about their dieting or is it, I just want to be connected to someone or something. Okay. Well, let's get down to the business of that then because that's what we're longing for. Maybe not the thinner body or being on the diet. Because I don't think anybody goes on a diet for fun. Nobody chooses to have an eating disorder. No, I mean, that's not even a choice. Nobody knows that they're signing up for that before it happens. And so we have to recognize that wanting diets is about wanting the container we think all that goodness is going to be in. Not that it actually happens. So I hope this video was helpful. I really hope it gets you to get dig deep and get a little bit more clear about when you want to restrict, when you kind of sort of restrict, when you need to think about like, I'm going to eat healthy. <clears throat> what is it you're saying? And what is it you're really looking for? Because if you don't have to answer those questions, it doesn't feel very prudent, right? To be jumping off the cliff doing that when we don't really know what it is we're looking for. Or if what we're going to do is going to get that. So the rest of this week, we're going to be talking about other topics that oftentimes get us upset, get us frustrated, get us triggered. Um, today was about other people's diets. We're going to be talking this week about other people's weights. Um, you know, we're going to go into some things that feel a little uncomfortable, but that's okay. <clears throat> we can do this together. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please comment or post below. If this video was helpful to you and you have some friends that might be interested as well, please let them know. I'd really appreciate it. And of course, all the tools that I have in my free gifts, I'll go ahead and put below, but every single one of them will help you along with these um, video prompts this week. So please make sure you're using those free gifts. If you've already gotten them, use them. Don't just have them as like downloads on your computer hard drive or you save them and haven't used them, get them out. If you haven't used any of these before, please download those and put them to use. And I'd love to hear about how they're helping you. All right. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye for now.